DIY tick spray for hunting clothing. It's coming up. Hey, it's Steve with STO Wildlife Calls. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, welcome and great to have you. If you're interested in crossbow hunting, you might want to consider subscribing and click the bell notification and you won't miss anything. So let's get into it. With Lyme disease on everybody's mind and Pennsylvania being number three in cases this year, behind Maine number two and Vermont number one, if you haven't been treating your hunting clothing in the past, you better start now to keep the ticks off of you. Here's my disclaimer. Use any of these products at your own risk as I'm not responsible for stupid. You can buy a product by Sawyer for $14.99 for a 24 ounce bottle of Perithrum 0.5%. Or you can make your own 24 ounce bottle of 0.5% for like 23 cents. That's a savings of $14.76. Better yet, you can make a gallon of tick spray for $1.25 or spend $79.95 for a gallon of Sawyer's. Don't know about you, but I'd rather use that $78.70 on something else. Now don't get me wrong. You're going to invest in a quart of the Permithrium 36.8% for $21.94. Now this container I'm holding here was a 10% level. And it's about the same price. So you might as well get the 36.8%. But a quart of this will make you almost 19 gallons of tick spray. Which is going to last you for some time. Okay, enough with the cost difference. I hope you get my point. Make it yourself, it's cheaper. I'll put a link for the... Perithium 36.8% quart bottle and the formula to figure out the amount needed per gallon to give you a 0.5% active ingredient and I'll put it in the description box below. Here's an example of the formulation. You want to make a gallon of tick spray. Okay? A gallon has 128 ounces in it. You want the active ingredient the same as what the Sawyer's is, which is 0.5%. So you take the 128 ounces times 0.005 which is the active ingredient percentage you want, and you divide that by the percent of the perithium that you're using, and in the case I'm speaking of, you'll be getting the 36.8%, so you divide it by 0.368 equals 1.74 ounces or one and three quarter ounces of the perithium in a gallon jug. So you add the one and three quarter ounces to the jug, then you add 126 and a quarter ounces of water. And I use a liquid measuring cup to do my measuring. That'll give you your 128 ounces. And before using each time, you want to shake your jug real well. 
Okay, now that we have our spray made, you'll want to put out of your gallon into a spray bottle. I use my old Sawyer bottle. And as now we need to treat our hunting clothes. In doing so, you want to use some type of gloves. I use these blue latex gloves to keep the liquid off of you as you spray as most of these sprayers leak. Now once the clothes are dry there's no problem with the tick spray touching your uh, skin as it's dried. You just don't want the as you're spraying it the liquid part getting on. After it's drying your clothes no problem. Now what I would do or what I do is I have my clothing on hangers and I'll hang it under a tree and I'll take my spray bottle and I'll spray everything the clothing down that they have a good uh, wet coating to them front back pull up the sleeves spray underneath the arms everything all my camo clothing and also since I hunt out of a blind, I use a black sweatshirt, a hat, gloves, the same thing. These get treated the same way with the spray. And then I let them dry. And I hang my clothes in the shade, which helps keep the camo pattern from fading. And if there's no rain coming, I'll leave the clothes hang overnight and throughout the next day, or two to air out. Now I know your next question is, will the deer smell you? Well, all I can say is that that has not been a problem for me. If you're following a scent-free washing of your clothes, like I talked about in a previous video, and you can find it here with the YouTube card above, then you should not have a problem. This product is to be only sprayed on your clothing. Do not, I repeat, do not spray it on yourself. Again, I'm going to add my disclaimer. Use any of the above products at your own risk as I'm not responsible for stupid. I hope this video showing how to make your own tick spray and save you lots of money is a benefit to you. If you want to see more on crossbow hunting, make sure to click the subscribe button below. You'll subscribe and I'll continue to share my strategies on crossbow hunting. Till next time, shoot straight and thanks for watching.